This one is probably going to knock your socks off. All right, Bella Buddies, I am going to show you some of the items that I sold, and I think some of them you're going to be like, huh? You listed that? I would not have listed that. I would have donated that. I would not have bought that to sell. What are you thinking, Bolo Buddies? Are you guys ready to check this out? Let's get started. Just a little update. I wish I had video footage of this thing dropping me to the ground. Um, this is a table that I bought, and what's really cool about it is this is adjustable height, all right? So, I can make this taller. So I feel like when I'm standing and I'm listing, I really want to not be bending my back over. So I'm going to put my light box up here and I'm going to make my jewelry bundles and different things here. And then I can put jewelry underneath here. So I love this table. But anyway, um, I didn't ask for help like a ding dong. And I got it downstairs and I got it all put together. Well, I heard one of these snap. And then I thought the other ones, I'm like, well, they must not have just snapped. I must not have heard it, but I thought it was okay. So I start to like lift this thing up and literally it collapses, hits my leg, goes down onto my foot, smashes my toe. But you know what? It's an awesome table. I'm like, please don't let anything be broke. So I'm sitting on the floor and I'm like yelling for my husband, hey your help can you come help me and he's like what are you doing I'm like I'm trying to put this table together and it it collapsed on me and he's like why didn't you ask me for help and I'm like I don't know you were sitting there and you looked comfortable <laughs> oh my goodness totally not an ask for help person I just do it myself just get it done you know but anyway uh yeah big old bruises. Yeah, I'm going to have a bruise on my foot, probably on my toe. I found the bruise on my leg. I thought it was on the front of the, my leg, but it's actually on the side of my leg. Oh my goodness. And progress on the jewelry coming along behind me. I'll have a final update in the future. All right, let me show you what I sold here. Start by saying that the stuff in this tote, I've had a really, really long time. And I got a bunch of tiaras Tiara, Tiara, I don't know how to say it, but I don't remember where I got these. I cannot remember if it was a garage sale or these may have been a part of my 350, 44 pounds, 344 pounds of jewelry. I don't remember, but this is the last one I have. I just sold it for $30 plus shipping. This has probably been listed for four to five years, I'm guessing. I don't know, maybe three, a long, long time. So oh, somebody in one of my videos commented that I was giving bad advice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just laughed and I'm like, okay, I usually really don't give advice. I sometimes just tell people what I do. Uh, so I say that I don't inventory. I list it and forget it. Okay, so number one, I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you that is what I do. And the reason I do that is because I don't have time to inventory. Do you know how long it would take me to inventory over 5,000 items? Uh-uh, not do it. But they put in the comment that all big companies inventory their stuff. Well, I'm not a big company. I'm one person and I don't have time for it. So if you want to inventory, you go right ahead. Like I am not suggesting that you shouldn't. What I do say is I list it and forget it. And like this item right here, I've had listed for probably between three and five years. And I just sold it for $30. And I probably had a dollar or less in it. So to me, I like to list it and forget it. You do what's best for you. I'm not implying or suggesting that you need to do what I do. <laughs> I'm just saying this has been listed three to five years and I sold it for $30. So... That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all she wrote. That's it. So anyway, you guys do what you want to do. Never, ever, ever am I telling you what you should do, okay? <laughs> I'm just telling you what I do. All right, Bola Buddies. I sold a pair of my Halloween right here. Bola Buddies earrings over on Whatnot. This is what they look like. I also have Thanksgiving and I also have just the basic, oops, it's over here, the basic model available. These are $5 over on Whatnot. I only have them for sale on Whatnot. So if you're interested, you can use that referral link down below, get $15 to shop, and then you can go buy some Bolo Buddies earrings and use your credit to get those. 
super, super cute. Um, Lucky Day Shop is who made these. Here's a couple other styles of earrings that Lucky Day Shop made. And she has a whole bunch. Uh, she gave me, I think, nine different styles to give away during my shows. I only have three left. So these are the three I have left. You can check out her whatnot to see the other styles available. She has some fantastic, fantastic um, different prints. And she designs all of these. And they're just incredible. Lots of Halloween. But she also has butterflies and some other new ones and you got to go check them out. Lucky Day Shop on Whatnot. So give her a follow. She has beautiful jewelry shows as well. And shout out to uh, Tracy over at Pinky's Secondhand Store on eBay. She purchased these from me. So I appreciate you, Tracy. Thank you for your purchase. And so many of you have bought these during my live shows on Whatnot. If you come to my show during the live show, you get discounted shipping on the earrings and anything in my buy it now section. So you can add it to your order. And once you hit $8.35 during the jewelry shows, you get free shipping on everything else you buy during the show. So if you're thinking about getting a pair of earrings, that might be the place and time to do it tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see ya. Maybe a little over the top, but how do I ship these? I put them face down on a piece of cardboard and then I wrap them and then I put them in a poly mailer. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, you are going to be so proud of me. Does anybody know what I sold? Does anybody, can you guess what I sold that is going to make Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle so happy? Put it down in the comments. All right, I'm going to show you. All right, we're going over to Tote M and man. It's getting a little, little, can I fit in between those totes? What is happening here? Oh my goodness. Okay, and tote M is right here. So I'm going to kind of squeeze in here. Squeeze in here. I might have to go on a diet to fit in between my totes. Okay, not really. I might be joking a little. All right, here we go. We are looking for, did anybody guess? Tupperware. I actually bought and sold some Tupperware vintage Tupperware that is. So Farm Girl Scavenger Noel has a video on Tupperware. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely ch check it out. Um, oh, little turtle. It's not what I'm looking for. Where are you? I know it's in a baggie, but anyway, check out her video on vintage Tupperware. All right. I'm going to flip this off and find it. I'll be right back. Oh, I found them. That took forever. 25 cents. Um, actually, I think that I have two separate sets in here. Let me look. Okay, so these are like mini ladles. I sold these three. And they do have a number on the back. So I, and each num each one is numbered differently, actually. I don't know why. But I did put uh, these three together. I sold them for $8.50 plus shipping. And... I still have this set available. So I can't remember if I paid a quarter for all six of them or not, but I did divide them into two separate listings because they are different colors. All right, I am gonna wrap these up with my American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna fold it over, I'm gonna tape it, and then I am gonna put these in a box. I feel like a poly mailer is just not safe enough, so I will box these. Uh, let me know what you guys, would you risk putting these in a poly mailer or would you put them in a box? Let me know down in the comments. Um, American Bubble Boy, I do have a referral link down below. Even if you already have an account, please use my link um, to click on that to go and get your bubble wrap. They also have tape and I do get credit. That is a referral link. So I appreciate it when you guys use those. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it does help me out. So uh, thank you so much. I do try to pick up different size boxes. This is a six by three by two, and I'm thinking this is gonna fit in here perfectly, just like that, and there you have it. Okay, so this is the Tierra. Again, I've got it bubble wrapped. I am gonna use this eBay box. It is an eight by six by four. It is gonna have some extra space in it, but really, honestly, it's not gonna hurt if this moves around. You could put some uh, bubbles on the top if you wanted. I'm just going to ship it like it is because, like I said, it's got enough bubble wrap on it that even if it bounces around in here, it's not breakable. And that's how I'm going to ship this. It looks like when you send an offer to a buyer, uh, you do have to offer discounted shipping, which really cuts into your profits, especially on lower priced items. This item was a $10 item. The Poshmark fee on 
it's 20%, but if it's less than, is it $15? It's an automatic $2.95. I can't remember what it is, but $10, they charge you $2.95, which is over 20%. I also sent out an offer to the buyer, so they got me for discounted shipping for another $2.02. .02. So my net earnings on this was $5.03. I Did I make a huge profit on this? No. I bought this for a quarter at a garage sale, so I still made $4.75. So I'm completely happy, happy with those margins, but I just wanted you to kind of see how Poshmark works on lower dollar items. What did I sell, you ask? or I asked. And the funny thing is I'm back in tote M. I was already in here. I should have been looking for it. I should have seen it. Look at this little Boyd's bear. It says a fairy godmother. It's a little Boyd's. How cute is that? I got that from the Goodwill bins too. All right. It is, I thought it was over on this side. I'm probably going to have to, I'll turn the phone off and I'll be right back because this tote this tote is full, 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 and my battery is about to be toast on my phone, so I'll be right back. All right, here it is. Is it Coupie or Keepie? I don't know how to say it. They're cards. Um, they look like this, and this is not in the best condition. If this would have been in better condition, I definitely would have listed it higher, but they're those little babies with the side eyes, and I don't, they're not postcards. They're just little, like a writing tablet, I think but it's not in great condition. So um, not a huge profit. I will put this back inside of the Ziploc bag just to keep it safe from water damage before shipment or during shipment. So I'm going to get that uh, shipped out right now on Poshmark. On Poshmark, they send you the label and everything ships priority mail. So I am going to bubble wrap this just to keep it from banging around. And I'm going to put it right in there. And this is a free box from USPS. You can get all your priority mailboxes there free. And everything, again, on Poshmark, they send you a label and you just put it in a priority mailbox. As long as it's five pounds or less, it ships for one price. That's one thing I love about Poshmark. I do start my items on eBay and then I cross post with List Perfectly to um, eBay to Poshmark and Mercari. And I do have a demo video if you want to check that out. Definitely do that. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLO Buddies, all one word. And that's for List Perfectly. Check out that video. If it looks like it's something you would use, I definitely recommend getting your eyes on, getting more eyes on your items with different platforms because different people shop on different platforms. And especially coming into fourth quarter here and Christmas and all of that, people are going to be buying and what I like to tell you is on Poshmark and Mercari, people can use their money that they get from selling things as credits to shop. And eBay is now doing that also, which is really smart of eBay, I think. But anyway, again, more platforms, more eyes. I choose List Perfectly, and I've been using it since 2019. I love it. Check out that demo video to see how it works. I will be on Whatnot tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time selling, you guessed it, jewelry. So I hope to see you guys. I may do an untangling tonight. That sounds kind of fun. This next item sold for $9.60, and most of you would not have wasted your time. You probably would have uh, donated it, thrown it away. And I will tell you, this sold within, I think, a week or two of listing. Sold fast for $9.60, and the buyer paid shipping over here in tote g and i you guys this hanger has been sitting here for how many years i mean how many videos have you seen this hanger in so i had a retail arbitrage kids outfit that sold and i took it off the hanger and i threw the hanger on the ground and yeah i i just left it there how many of you are guilty of just leaving things sitting there for a very long time like i'm looking at it right now and i'm still not going to pick it up it'll probably be in my next video Tell me if you can relate. Oh my goodness. So here's a lot of things that I just listed. I've got these Longenberger. If you guys like Longenberger, these, I don't think I could, I know I couldn't find a comp for that. I don't think I found a comp for that. So I've got these up for auction right now. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be a bolo. And if you ever find the Vera Bradley sloth print, it does pretty well. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale recently. One of them still has the tag. So I have two separate sloth purses listed in my ebay store they are so stinking adorable look at these sloths 
Who knew, right? So just got those listed recently. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for... I just forgot what I'm looking for. Oh, I remember. I'm looking for these right here. So I knew to pick these up. I have sold them before, but let me show you something. When I got home, I got these at the Goodwill bins. And when I picked them up, like I don't, I didn't think I had them all. And I kind of was like, eh, the condition's not great, but I just had a feeling that they were still going to sell. I mean, you guys look how poor, like this is supposed to be pink. The paint is coming off. Um, I actually have two, two pig butts. Um, we got a duck. So what these are, they go to a leapfrog and they're magnetic. Oh, Amy. Oh, Amy. I have a cow. Amy, every time I see a cow, I think of you. Every time. Uh, the horse, not, not in good condition, guys. So the sheep, the duck, and the pig, none of these have their matches. Uh, so really I was like, all right, well, maybe somebody needs an extra pig butt or a duck head or a lamb, sheep, whatever it is. $9 and 60 cents plus shipping and sold super fast. Pick these up. If you see them, people will buy them as replacements. Another thing you can do, you can literally sell one piece. I could have parted this out into each one of these being a separate listing. Did I do that? No, but the person buying it might take what they need and then list the other things. So it could happen, but I really did not think that these would sell fast because of the condition. I did consider like, should I even list these? And I'm like, I'm, I think these are going to sell even in the condition they're in. So I just disclosed the condition issues and bam, they sold. I'm going to leave those in the Ziploc bag, put a thing of bubble wrap around it, bam, throw it in a box ready to go. So I wanted to let you guys know, MacPack Reselling just put out a video and it's um, eBay app, how to get on Seller Hub, download videos using your iPhone. So I don't know about you, but for me, I always thought you had to go to your computer to add a video to your actual listing. I didn't think it was an option from your phone. In this video, she shows you how to add a video using your phone to your Yay. listing. You know how the new, they have the new video feature you can actually do it from your phone and she shows you how. So go over to MacPack Reselling. I'll link her down below. Check out that video and she's gonna show you how to do it. All right, Bola Buddies. The next one comes from a YouTube viewer. So thank you for your purchase. You know who you are. She bought four items off of me for a total of $34.09. The total of the items was $28.16 and the buyer paid combined shipping of $5. So I'm gonna show you what she picked up. So I think one of the items is in here. This is all kids clothing. Oh, back from when I did um, retail arbitrage. So I've had most of these items for a very, very long time. Um, and I probably should relist them and do sell similar. I probably get more movement, but um, I haven't. So I'm very happy to, to sell this item. And I'm gonna turn the phone off and I will be right back. That way I can use two hands to find this and then I'll show you what it is. Guys, I'm still looking for the pants, but oh my goodness, look how cute this is. It is a size, size, newborn. How cute. It's Halloween. It's in my eBay, right? yeah, it's in my eBay store. The link's down below if anybody's looking for a little cute um, Halloween onesie. How adorable is that? I was in the wrong tote. This is another kid's tote that has been listed for a very long time. So another retail arbitrage, all retail arbitrage. Anyway, this is what she bought. These cute little pants, kids pants that say love. All right, craft tote two. Ugh. All right. She bought one of these, this one. And then the other one, it says it's in craft tote three. So I don't know why. I must have listed them at different times. So I will go over to tote three and show you the other one. All right. I've moved all the totes around. This is craft tote three. Now, this one, I believe, has some yellowing on it. And I just disclosed that on the listing and listed it cheaper. But I got to find it here. Let me find it and I'll be right back. Okay, I just realized I grabbed the wrong one. They actually look 
Hold on, I'll show you. I grabbed this one, but she actually bought this one. <gasps> I'm so glad I caught it. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's put this stuff back in and then we're gonna go back over here. And I think I pulled it, I had it, and then I put it back because I didn't think I had the right one. There it is. Okay, so one of them, yeah, this one has some yellowing. See that? And I just disclosed it in the listing. So that one was cheaper. So they're the same um, pattern. So for the listing that had yellowing, I actually wrote in the title yellowing. So that way my buyer knows that the item has some discoloration. So the next item she bought is super cute. And it's over in tote 42. Tote 42. It is a little ugh, lamb. And I already went over the numbers, what she paid for all four items. So now I'm just locating them and there it is. So this probably came from the Goodwill bins. The quilting patterns came from an estate, living estate clean out that um, I was picking up stuff from. And the pants were a retail arbitrage, like I said, from like, I don't know, a long, long time ago. I don't even know how long ago. But just a cute little lamb. I think this might go to Barbie. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's probably in the listing. I probably Google lensed it. And if I knew, I probably put Barbie in the title. And if I wasn't sure, I probably just did nothing. So you'll have to look at the pop-up when it pops up. So this is a viewer sale. So viewer sales always get a little owl sticker. And I put the little thank you on. And all of these items, I'm just going to put together, I'm hoping, into this poly mailer. Let's see if it's going to fit. Right, it fit and it is like just shy of a pound. So I had to round up to one pound. This is gonna ship for $6.78 ground. Now you heard me say that I only charged $5 for combined shipping. I do that on first class items, on most first class items. If you add it to your cart, you get $5 shipping for two or more items. That is my way to try to encourage people to buy multiple items from my, per, um, from my store. Now, they paid five. I'm paying six dollars and seventy eight cents. So a dollar seventy eight is going to be at my cost. So I'm still paying six dollars and seventy eight cents for it, but I'm consuming the extra cost to get in hopes of getting somebody to maybe purchase multiple items from my store. So it's been five dollars for a long time. I thought about increasing it to six, but I don't. I'm just gonna keep it at five. So something to think about if you're trying to increase sales is have promotions like that so that people get discounted shipping with um, multiple purchases. Shout out to Vintage Spice, who is also Franny Glass over on Whatnot. She is selling dollhouse furniture, you guys. So if you like dollhouse furniture and vintage like Mark's toys, that's kind of her specialty and what she is going to be selling on Whatnot. So go give her a follow. She's brand new over there. I know she's had, I think, I know she had one show. She may have had two by now, but go give her a follow. Again, it's Franny Glass. She may be changing it to Vintage Spice. Vintage Spice is her YouTube channel. Sub her up. She has incredible what sold videos. You will learn so much from her. So check her out. She is a Bola Buddies member and she is awesome. So check her out. Next item is definitely a bolo. I uh, picked this up at a garage sale. I'm moving my totes for $3. And I sold it for $70 plus shipping. And it sold super fast. Um, I would say less than 30 days. Probably, I don't know the exact amount of time, but less than 30 days. To me, that's super fast. And I think a lot of new sellers think that things sell fast all the time, and that's just not the case. So let me find it, and then I'll show it to you guys. It's somewhere. That's not it. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. I'll be right back. It's a wood puzzle, and it has the pieces that actually look like different things, different shapes. Super cool. This one is the Eiffel Tower. I could not really find any good comps for the Eiffel Tower. I did count the pieces and it had 135 pieces. I did not put this together. 
So um, I know some puzzle piece, uh, some puzzles, like if it says a thousand pieces, I have heard that they may not have a thousand pieces. They just do a rough estimate. Does anybody know that for sure? Can anybody verify that? I counted this, it said 135 pieces. So I went with it. And I think it probably just depends on the manufacturer and the puzzle, but for it to say 135 and 135 to be there, I felt pretty confident. $70 plus shipping, paid $3 for this at a garage sale. Super excited about this sale. If you haven't seen my puzzles that go for big money, Bolo video, definitely check that out. It's a category video. All right, guys, so this is a recycled box. I am leaving it in the plastic bag. I'm also gonna put bubble wrap around it and I'm gonna sit it in here sideways. This is a thicker box, so should be good. And then I'm just gonna close this up and that's how I'm gonna ship that puzzle. And for all of you asking for some Goodwill Benz videos, I don't know if you missed the one before this, but I have a new one that I just released yesterday. So go check that out. And there's one before this also. And then this is uh, Big Money Stuffed Animals. So you can check out those two videos right there. And lots of other Bolo videos. So check them out. But for those of you asking for the Goodwill Benz, here it is. Here it is. I'll link it down below. This one is probably going to knock your socks off. It's over here in tote 38. This is why I love small toys. Look how cool this is. Anybody like cats? Laurel Birch tote available in my eBay store. You guys, if you've never checked out my eBay store, you should definitely check it out. I've got lots of amazing items. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. There it is. There it is. It's the snail and the shark. All right, you guys. So hold on. All right. So these are octonauts. Um, octonauts. They go with the play sets. And these are color changing. And that's what makes these so special. So when you put them under hot and cold water, the little stripes change colors. I sold these, I think, for $22.50. And the buyer paid shipping. And that is a happy shark. Look at that. Uh, so be on the lookout for octonauts in general, but if you can find the little accessories, toys like this, I have also parted out octonauts like a play set. And I have a video on that somewhere. I'm not sure. It might be over on my reseller testing Bolo products, but just type in Bolo Buddies octonauts or reseller testing Bolo products octonauts. And you can see how I parted out a play set, but this is a great item to pick up. Nice little Bolo. These are small enough to put into a pillow box, bubble wrap it first, pillow box it, and then I'll stick this down in a poly mailer. If you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I like to pick up the code a pillar, and this is why. A lot of these are new in the box, but you can get good money for these if you sell them and part them out. Now, I did pick one up at a garage sale and literally it was broken. So I parted it parted it out. I did a part out. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk. And I just sold the battery compartment, but I just want you guys to kind of see what these go for. A lot of these, like they sold this way too cheap. They could have gotten way more money for this. There are so many pieces on here. There's 19 segments. A lot of times people will part out each individual segment and do multi quantity. That's one way to do it. If you want to really make extra but again, mine was not working, so I decided to sell just the battery compartment. I recommend that you list these high. I have done really, really well with these. And the different, uh, I mean, just, I don't know. You can see. I mean, you can see the price range on these items. And people are selling them for way more than others. And I don't know if people are just looking for the quick flip or what but i always list mine high and they always sell even when people have them lower so do your homework and i guess if you're patient like me list it high and if you're not patient you can race to the bottom <laughs> all right let me show you what i sold here it is guys seven dollars and 68 cents in the buyer paid shipping just for the battery cover just for the battery cover so instead of losing money because the item didn't work, I took the battery cover off and I sold it. This may be another thing that you may not waste your time selling because it doesn't yield a high amount of a high return. It's only what, $7 and some cents. 
plus shipping. Not huge profits, but it's a profit. And it's a nice profit for a replacement part, in my opinion. We're right here in tote 17. And easy to list, easy to ship, small to store. And is it long tail? Yeah, in most, most cases, battery compartments are long tail. But really, I mean, I think I've had this listed less than a year. So to me, that's awesome. So I do buy these little boxes. I don't know if they're like four by five or four by four by four or five by five. I, they're not very big. I thought about putting this between two pieces of cardboard and putting bubble wrap around it and putting it in a poly mailer. But I'm like, you know what? This is going to fit in this little box. It's going to give it some extra protection. I don't want it to break during shipment. I could probably almost lay it flat. That's probably safer. And I'm going to ship it in this box. I see this bruise. Can you see this? Oh my goodness. Do you want to know how I did this? It's the most ridiculous thing in the world. So first my table fell on me, right? Well, the same day this happened. I'm telling you, putting this jewelry shelf together is beating me up. Hold on, I'll show you. These two totes right here are kids jewelry. And you can see I've got this really tight up against this. Well, I was pulling it out and I don't want to do it again but my thumb got stuck and rubbed against this metal. And oh my goodness, it's bruised today. That's from yesterday. Where the table fell on my foot, it's not even bruised yet, but my thumb is bruised. Look at that, that is horrible. So I'm gonna have to be really careful putting things really tight in here like that, or maybe I can just pull it out with two hands from the side, but I was definitely in a hurry and did not think that through, so. Anyway, my shelving unit is coming along, super excited, still sorting and organizing, but um, this is going to help me like find, this is all vintage stuff, these are all earrings, Christmas stuff, we got bling here, animal stuff here, this is so much more organized for me, mixed bundles, so these mixed bundles are probably things that I'll just pull out and do unboxings of, special occasion, more like fancy stuff, um, yeah, just, just lots and lots of jewelry to, that still needs sorted. I've just kind of got some themes. This bling, I sorted. There is some amazing stuff in here. I'm probably going to have a bling show eventually. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, just, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're interested in a signed jewelry or fancier jewelry bling show. All right, Bola Buddies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you tonight at my Whatnot Show at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching.